Hey guys, what's up? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today we are finally getting around to doing that finance Q&A that I had uh, requested questions for like a week ago. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then uh, I did post like a little community thing here, but I don't know how many people actually see that. But uh, Alex and I have COVID, so um, we both tested positive on Monday. Alex had uh, exposure at work, um, so we know where we got it from. We didn't give it to anyone else, thank God. Oh my God, my camera battery's already flashing at me. Uh, I'm gonna go change that real quick, but um, I have had zero energy to film a video. Um, honestly, I don't feel like terrible today. I feel a lot better. Um, just like obviously some nasal congestion. Um, and overall, I feel a lot better. Today's Thursday. Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. So I'm gonna have plan out this video up by Friday, edit it and everything. Um, but uh, I'll have to kind of rearrange what my videos were supposed to be because um, I can't do a work vlog because I'm not going back to work for another week at least. And yeah. So I'm gonna go switch out my camera battery and then we can get into the questions that we also have a cat who's joining us. <laughs> okay, so I asked you guys on Instagram and on YouTube to give me some questions, uh, finance questions specifically because I think it's been like a year since I did a uh, finance Q&A again. So pull those up. So um, let's start just by kind of introducing myself, I guess. I don't know. My brain is still not 100% functioning. Um, so hi, my name is Amanda. I am 25 years old. Uh, me and my husband got married in August. Um, I'm in debt. We are in the process of house hunting, buying a house, all that fun stuff. Uh, that first house hunting vlog went live last week. And I'll probably actually show this the uh, next one sooner than I planned because I can't really film anything right now. So super fun. Um, but yeah, uh, I budget over here, make monthly budgets. First question is how do you refrain from spending on certain things? Um, I think the biggest thing is just having a budget has been really beneficial um, in knowing how much I can spend and updating it more frequently and figuring out. Uh, it takes a while to have like, what's the word for it? Like discipline, I guess. And like, no, like, okay, I can't go to Target every day and spend money on things. And also I've been trying to be better about like, if I do go to Target, I like grab something if I like it. And then like, before I leave, I double check, okay, do I really need everything that I have here? And that's been kind of helpful as well. Next question is how did we save up for a down payment? Um, so with my budgeting, um, the way I was originally going was all my extra money was going towards uh, my debt But then once we kind of switched gears and decided we wanted to start saving for a house we All that extra money I was gonna be putting towards loan went towards my savings Alex was doing the same thing. He doesn't have any debt though So all his extra money was going towards savings We had some left over from the wedding that we got from people after we paid for our honeymoon and Then the rest of the down payment is coming from Alex's uh kind of like mutual friends, things that his parents had had set up for him growing up. Um, so yeah, that is kind of how we are saving for the down payment. Um, next question is, do me and my husband split everything or not? Do we split everything before we get married? So yeah, when we first moved into our apartment together, it was us and then a roommate. So at that time, we just like split the rent evenly between everyone split groceries. Me and Alex kind of did grocery shopping independently. Um, but once our roommate moved out, we actually ended up getting a joint account that we both put uh, about $1,200 there a month to go towards groceries and rent and electricity and all the utilities and stuff that like we both spend money on. Um, and then we get paid into our own accounts and then that goes together. And that's kind of how it's going to be for now, I think, until we... Um, like pay off more of my loans so yeah um it's worked for us uh i don't think we're gonna be changing anything majorly anytime soon next question is how has my money mindset changed since i started my journey um i think when i first started i was very much oh my god i have to pay off all my debt asap because i can't be in debt and like being in debt is like the worst thing that can ever happen and um i've definitely changed that mindset because clearly like 
if I continued to follow Dave Ramsey like I used to, I wouldn't be close to being able to buy a house like I am right now. Um, and I think it's just kind of not everyone can fit into the same box of what what are you doing not everyone can sit and in, fit into the same like financial box everyone has different goals everyone has different means of getting money and paying stuff off and um everyone has different priorities so i think it's totally okay and my mindset has definitely changed into obviously i wanted to pay off my debt but i also want to invest in my future as well so yeah next question is what is my guilty pleasure in terms of spending um target in general uh online shopping um sales really get me because i'm like oh it's on sale i have to get it and like in reality i really don't amazon as well so kind of just like those like quick spending things where you kind of have to make a decision right away if you're gonna buy it or not those those really get to me sometimes next question is how did you save money when you were in college did you have a part-time job or side hustle um in college i honestly really didn't save money uh i took out extra private student loans to be able to afford rent and food and i did work a part-time job um my sophomore uh, junior and senior year sophomore junior year I actually worked at Panera and my senior year I worked at a nursing home as a CNA um, and my senior year was the only time I really made like significant money Miko what are you doing <laughs> um, my senior year was only when I made significant money and that came that that year um, I don't think I actually ended up taking out any private loans and uh, my I made enough to cover my rent and eating next question is how are you really feeling about your student loans and slowing down payments um it does suck because i was like going so full steam ahead but at the same time like my priorities have changed and i am like 10 times more excited to have a house than to pay off my debt um and i was I'll kind of go into this in a little bit but I'm actually going to be refinancing my loan soon too um to lower my payment um just because a $1,200 student loan payment at five percent um I can do a lot better now uh percentage wise and have lower payments and be able to pay it off faster still um so that's something that's coming in the future once we close on house and all that stuff next question is i struggle with going to target and spending extra money same how do you keep yourself from spending extra money um basically don't go to target um that's the one thing that i've learned is if i know i can't go buy anything then don't even go in the first place or if i know i need to go somewhere to buy something like i need to buy like food then i'll go to the grocery store and not just go to target um going places that you know you're not going to spend a lot of money like i'm way way less likely to spend more money at walmart so i go to walmart more often than i just go to target for fun next question is to save money do you just put it aside or use a high yield savings account i don't use a high yield savings account um just because i'm moving my money around so much um high yield savings account i think are more for like long-term savings um, so it just goes into my savings account for my bank. So nothing crazy. It's something I'll look into for the future, but not right now. The next question is, will you increase your emergency fund once you buy a home? Absolutely, yes. Um, that is kind of like our next big thing. Now that we've officially saved for the house, down payment is starting to build up that emergency fund um, and making sure that we will be able to afford everything that comes with the house when we buy the house. Next question is, do you plan to further combine finances or thinking of keeping it as is? I think for the now, we're just going to keep it as is until I'm able to pay off more of my debt. Um, it's just easier for me to like budget my stuff and then Alex to budget his stuff and then like just have our joint account for all the utilities. Who knows though, once we have a house, it might just be easier to put everything together. But for now, I think the plan is just to keep it as is. Next question is how did you save up for and pay off your car so fast? Um, so I started saving for my car when I started working my full-time job. Um, it was kind of the first priority that I had. And then I think I got like $1,000 trade in for my old car. I only ended up paying like 3000 down. And then my loan was about 16000 And honestly, the way I was able to pay it off so fast was I just put every single extra penny I had towards that. And also all of my like um, stimulus checks that we had 
during covid and and my like tax returns and stuff so i had a lot of like big payments that went there next question is do you invest in stocks any advice saving money um so i don't but alex is super interested in the stock market and i've told <laughs> i've told him multiple times that he should make a video about stock stuff um so i will maybe get his opinion on some of that stuff i don't do it anything personally um it's just over my head and alex takes care of a lot of that so we're gonna just let him do that okay that is it for instagram a lot of questions about like alex and i finances once we have a house um question first question off youtube is have i thought about how much i want to save to live comfortably through retirement honestly no <laughs> not yet i'm 25 years old i know that's something that i should start planning for now i put money in a 401k um obviously social security takes some of my money who knows if that'll be there when i retire but um, we have money in the stock market. Um, I don't think I know an exact amount that I need to like live comfortably. It'll kind of depend on what the world is like too, I feel like, because like if I start saving now for what life is like now, it's gonna be so different in 40 years when I retire. So I think I'm thinking about it, but I don't like have a specific number. Next question is how much has your credit changed while paying off your student debt? Um, I honestly, feel like it hasn't changed too much in like the fact of like paying it off um i have so much debt as it is that like paying off ten thousand dollars doesn't really move my overarching debt amount my credit card my credit score is actually really nice um they don't care too much about how much like student debt and car loan number you have it's more like what percentage of your like credit cards are you using and how old are your lines and stuff like that honestly the credit system is all a big question mark for me i don't really understand it um but yeah i don't know i don't feel like it really changed too much next question is how did we determine our budget for house purchase so i did a lot of those little like calculators online um to figure out like what an approximate like mortgage payment would be with taxes and pmi and all that stuff and then i kind of sat down with alex and we went through what we make in a month and what we spend in a month and where we could where we would be saving money and where we would be like spending more money and stuff like that um and so we kind of were able to find uh like monthly payment that we could afford and then used those online calculators to transition that into like an actual house price that we could afford <laughs> advice for recent grad with that anything i would do differently um my only advice is like it's okay to treat yourself um but like be cautious and you don't have to throw all of your money towards your debt save some money <laughs> save a little more money than you probably think you need to another question about roth uh 401k stocks do i have an emergency fund how much do i think is sufficient um so yes i have a 401k i don't have a roth ira alex invests in the stock market he does all that stuff um i do have an emergency fund right now it's only a thousand dollars um so that's kind of the basics where you want to be um i think a good rule of thumb is like three to four months of like expenses like living expenses um so yeah the question is whether or not i believe youtube is worth it money rise over my own personal safety and privacy um number one i don't do youtube for the money i do it because i enjoy educating people on finances and showing um my life and i love editing and i love just like this community and stuff um so i don't think i share too much about my life that it's like an invasion of privacy like i don't share where i work i don't share i mean i try not to like share my last name like even stuff like that or where we live um so no i i mean i don't i don't do youtube for the money so i guess that's not even a real question so yeah those are all of the major questions um that you guys had but that is going to be it for today's video i can't promise that there's going to be one up on tuesday We'll see how I'm feeling um, 
if I have the motivation to get up. Honestly, the hardest thing is like our apartment's a friggin' mess right now. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I made the bed barely so that it looked a little nice in here. Um, I have like blue sweatpants on and I just threw a sweatshirt on and my hair's in a clip and it's just hard to like find the motivation to do anything right now because we're literally stuck inside. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll see. Maybe it'll be the next installment of our home buying journey. I don't know. I'll have to look at my schedule and see where we're at with things. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all your like kind words and stuff too, especially on here on Instagram and telling me that it's okay if I need to take a break. Um, I'm feeling a lot better right now than I had been. So um, we'll see when I get the motivation to actually edit this. It's not gonna be too terrible of a video to edit because it's me just sitting down but yeah um i will see you guys next time thanks for watching bye